The Adam Project certainly had a really interesting premise and I was quite keen to see how they did this because it's time travel to today. It is time travel to 2022 and I'm pleased to say that is an, it's an absolute delight. It's visually compelling, the acting is amazing, particularly with the two Adams, which I will talk about in a moment. And the narrative, for the most part, for me, is very engaging. I think it's a very well executed narrative. There were bits of it that didn't personally appeal to me, but I can certainly see where the audiences for this would be or for those specific aspects. Obviously, this was released this year and it is directed by Sean Levy, starring Ryan Reynolds and Walker Scobell. I have to say the, the, the casting between the two Adams there is amazing. Walker Scobell plays the young Adam who I consider to be a very unusual character because on the one hand, he's very likeable. You know, he's um, he's inquisitive, he's intelligent, or at least, you know, he reads a lot. He's very curious about the world and he gets bullied. So you kind of feel sorry for him. But at the same time, he's got a bit of a bad attitude or at least he speaks before he thinks. So it's a very unusual way to feel about this character because I, I liked him a lot, but at the same time I could tell that he would have to go through a lot of changes and personality developments to become Big Adam, who was played by Ryan Reynolds. And I think it's, it's kind of interesting to make us wonder exactly what kind of journey he goes on as he grows up. We never find out, you know, everything that this character goes through before we get to him as Ryan Reynolds. But we do learn a little bit, as does young Adam. And whenever young Adam finds out about things that have happened to him in his future, Walker Scobell's facial expressions are absolutely amazing. He has that look of wonder and awe and amazement spot on. And the mannerisms between the two, I absolutely love. So the casting, the characters, all absolutely fantastic. With regards to the narrative itself, I think it's it's brilliant and for me it's pretty great so big adam is a, a fighter pilot and he time travels to 2022 he was actually supposed to get to 2018 but he kind of you know missed a step a bit and he crash lands basically in his childhood home the home when he was 12 years old and that is of course how he meets young adam and their first encounter is pretty fascinating um I wasn't sure kind of how quickly Big Adam would reveal to Little Adam or Young Adam who he was, um, but I think the pacing for it worked very well. And to begin with, Big Adam is healing from an injury that he has and he spends some time with Young Adam and gives him some advice regarding the bullying. And there's one thing in this that I love. There's, I don't want to spoil it too much, but Big Adam says something like, you had to lose that fight. And there's this idea that young Adam has to go through this bullying and these really difficult experiences in his youth to become the man that he will eventually become. And of course, that's not saying that bullying should ever be condoned, but it's a nice message about how, well, it's, it's the cliche saying things that don't break us make us stronger or things that don't kill us make us stronger. And... These are things that Adam did have to go to in order to become the determined and clever individual that he does become. So that aspect of it I really liked. There is obviously the time travel aspect, the reason why Big Adam was travelling back in time and what he was running away from, some very sci-fi based threats, various other individuals who were hot on his tail. That aspect of it, I didn't... No, I enjoyed the visual aspect. Visually, it is so... It's fantastic. It's beautiful to look at. It's really gorgeous. But the actual narrative, like, you know, I wasn't too concerned about how quickly they'd find him or what the resolution would be. I wasn't emotionally invested in that aspect of it. I was more emotionally invested in the relationship between Young and Big Adam. But I do think the narrative of that aspect was very well developed. I think everything made sense. The characters' actions and motivations were believable. I just personally wasn't that bothered about that kind of sci-fi aspect of it. And, you know, I think that's the really great thing about this, is that even though I wasn't that bothered about certain aspects of it, I still thoroughly enjoyed the film. So if you are coming from a perspective like I am, where you can kind of 
take or leave sci-fi, even though arguably it's time travel, the whole thing is sci-fi based. But, you know, even if you're not that bothered about that aspect of it, those scenes are still thoroughly enjoyable, they're comedic, they're entertaining. We have some wonderful scenes with Mark Ruffalo, who plays Adam's father. I won't go into any detail about those. I also love Jennifer Garner as, as Ellie, their mother. I thought she was a really interesting character who obviously isn't in it that much. It, one thing that is quite peculiar is that because she works a lot and she's a single parent, young Adam spends a lot of time on his own, which means he gets to spend a lot of time with big Adam without his mother actually knowing. It is very unusual how much this young boy spends with who is ostensibly a strange man. If anybody saw him out with him, he would be seen to be with a stranger. Um, but apparently that doesn't raise any eyebrows. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantastic acting, brilliant, spot on casting. Um, visually really stunning, very funny. It is very, very funny. I think most of the comedy does come from the two Adams and I just think their, dyna dy their dynamic, their chemistry, they have such a wonderful rapport. I really thoroughly enjoyed watching them. And for me, that's what made this brilliant. It, the two Adams and their experiences and watching them kind of work together. It was a lot of fun. The narrative, yep, didn't appeal to me at all times, but that doesn't mean it was a bad narrative. It just means certain things were not for me personally. But I can't fault it. The Adam Project is one that I thought sounded interesting. And thankfully, I'm pleased to say it's absolute fabulousness in every aspect. Um, it's one of those films that actually were watched on Netflix, of course, one of those films that actually would have been great on the big screen. But however you watch it, I think you'll really enjoy The Adam Project.